Inocente, sean luenses, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, I can't stop to notice that I look like a damn granny. But the thing is, when the warmth is there, the warmth is there. Yeah, feel me. So you got to do what a brother got to do. You know what I mean? Now, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any cheese, man. I update you guys with the most best and juiciest cheese, man. So make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you can be updated as soon as I post a new video. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... I'm watching this in the shower and that's dedication. <laughs> Now, first and foremost, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday what was going on. A lot of you guys, you know, I woke up to a bunch of DMs. And usually when I wake up to a bunch of DMs, I know something juicy is going on. And to my knowledge, I see that Jesse is out of juvie. And I said, what? I know somebody's going to say, it's not juvie. Ah, shut up. He's out of juvie. Now, remember, they put him in juvie because of the whole situation. If you guys missed it out, I made a whole video about how the police said that Jesse chased down the family, etc. Etc. And he had posted this yesterday. Mike. Uh -oh. Yo, no esperaba esto. No. Yo, no esperaba esto. Yo no esperaba esto. No. Yo no esperaba esto. Somebody! Now, to my knowledge, I seen it and I said, first, first and foremost, I said, why the hell does he have a tablet? Now, aside from the damn tablet, put away the damn tablet, but aside from that, I said, I thought this young gentleman was in juvie. Now, there's probably two routes to this that it could have went. One, he could be innocent. The only issue with that is that the police confirmed on the Instagram that there was no uh, misinterpretation that he was chasing him down. So I don't know. I don't really see how he can be innocent if the police confirmed it. Aside from that, or it just could be that they decided to not put him in juvie. But then again, it starts to make me, you know, wonder. I think I remember Louis Castro saying something on Twitter. You know, I hope he rots or something in, in juvie or something in jail. So I know uh, Louis Castro wanted in jail, but then I see him out with a damn tablet, <laughs> you know, taking selfies. And I said, what the hell? Make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think of this situation? And the next thing that we're going to talk about, and I know I need a haircut. I'm going to get one soon. But speaking about haircuts, we're going to talk about Mr. Christian Blends and a whole update with uh, him and his ex-girlfriend because uh, allegedly they broke up and they've been broken up for about three months. And he had this to say, Mike. Honestly, I'm not in a relationship. Uh, we broke up about three months ago. It sucks. Honestly, it sucks because like I keep it legit. I love her. I still love her to this day. And it sucks that it just didn't work out. But I'm happy um, for the both of us. I mean, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But it just wasn't working out. So yes, I'm single. And what happened? It just wasn't working out. But I'm happy for her. You, you okay? I'm good. Why are you gigging, bro? I'm good. Now, as you can see in the video, he was really respectful and he was really kind, you know, about the situation, explaining, you know, how he still has, you know, this type of love for her, how he still respects her, how, you know, he wants her to thrive in the future, etc., etc. And then come to find out, uh, she deleted this, but sorry about that, I did capture it. The ex girlfriend had this to say, Mike. Only thing these men are good for are free trips to Disney and nothing else. Sorry about that. What am I doing wrong though? I'm trying to figure that out. What am I doing wrong though? I'm trying to figure that out. What am I doing wrong though? Zabang! Now you can see how Christian Blends is super respectful. 
about the whole situation. And then the other young lady is saying, ah, 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 a free Disney trip. I said, what? Now, I don't know if Christian Blends, because somebody commented on Christian Blends' video that, you know, he took her out to Disneyland for Valentine's Day, but I don't know if she has a pass. Now, I'm not here to argue about who the hell has the damn Disney pass. I don't give a flag in Dublin. What kind of stood out to me, the way that she's always saying, you know, all these shades and, and kind of being disrespectful on the Instagram versus Christian Blends is a little bit more respectful. But what do you guys think of this situation with Mr. Christian Blends and the ex-girlfriend? Make sure to comment down below. Do you guys think they're going to work out and get back together in the future? Or do you think she's just going to continue? you you know throwing these subliminals and shading and that's something that i remember was wasn't lewis saying mr lewis from the brand fam wasn't he saying that logging off social media deleting snapchat oh oh oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. i think when somebody says that they're gonna take a break first and foremost if you're gonna take a break take the damn break and don't tell nobody but aside from that if you're gonna take a break one day and you're good <laughs> adios <laughs> Clocking right back in. Oh, oh, oh. For the world news, did you guys see with Mr. Chapo's wife, El Chapita? Ah, ah, she got captured, and I said, What? Now, they captured her because allegedly she was involved, you know what I'm saying? Now, she kind of said that she didn't know nothing about this when they first asked her, you know, if she knew that Mr. Chapo was going through all this intervention. She said, no, 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 I don't, I didn't even know that. I thought he was a businessman. You know, that's a real wife right there. That's a real one. But then now they're saying that they got her and for some damn charges. Now, do you guys think she's going to be released? Do you guys think the narcos are going to come get him? You know, they are under U.S. custody, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But what do you guys think? Make sure to comment down below. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on the juicy cheese man because i update you guys on the daily follow my instagram don't forget about poncho's rejuvenation remember i do need practice dummies california area appreciate it and have a great day maybe oh that that riggy riggy what's going on man christopher you scared what? <laughs> you scared <laughs> Are you there? No, no, Riggy. Riggy! Oh, that's not Riggy. <laughs> it's not Riggy. Your brother, what's his name? Riggy. I, I'm Riggy Frank. <laughs>